Hello everyone, so I've got the latest sketch box today, Loving the Owl um, art on the box by Liz Baudouin, maybe? So let's go ahead and jump right in, let's see what we have for June, no not June, July, it's July already, oh my goodness. Right, lots of things here. Ooh, that looks interesting. Oh, and look at this. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay, and the stickers below there. Ooh, here's some more art. Hmm, that looks familiar. Anastasia Vasileva. Lovely art there. Nice card. And here is our menu. Al fresco watercolor premium box. Hmm. Al fresco watercolor. The prompt is explore. So let's take a look at. Let's open up the substrate here. It is a Hanamura landscape watercolor book. That's exciting. I can't get it open. Hold on a second. There we go. And it is. 4.13 by 5.83. That's interesting. I guess that's the dimensions of an A6 size. I'm having such trouble opening things. Oh, it's so sad. I tore it terribly. All right. I guess that's not that important there. I love that it has this little elastic to keep it closed. I have had these kind of sketchbooks before, and I really like it. It's a nice feeling top there. Um, so this is 200 GSM, 30 sheets, durable book is the perfect companion for an artist working plein air. I don't do a lot of plein air, I don't know, because maybe I just, I'm with people that don't want to stop and stay for a while, but I want to do more of it, so we shall see if I can do that with this. Okay, I've got that open there. Then look at this cute little sticker, that's adorable, I like that. And of course we have a Copic Multiliner in Warm Gray Point One. I love the Copic Multiliners. They're just a reliable product. Ooh, Warm Gray. It's um, of course it's warm, and I like this. It's almost a, a beigey gray color. I just messed that up the way I wrote that, but that's okay. And it's doing very well on this surface, which. I'm not surprised at all. I'm just going to swatch them out here on the first page and maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just, I don't know. I have a hard time with the sketchbook thing because, oh, I want it all to be good, but maybe I'll do a page in there. Oh, I just don't know. Um, I'm already just un undecided about it. That's sad. Okay, so we have a Faber-Castell watercolor pencil in walnut brown. This is the Albrecht Dure. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Walnut brown, 177. Let's just, uh, ooh, there we go. I like this color too. I think these two go really well together. You know? Can you? Yeah, they just seem to look very nice next to each other. And let's just do a lot there. And I have nearby, ooh, yes, I have this little palette so I can do that and check that out in a minute and put water on there. Um, and then we have, I, I guess I was taking my time getting to this because I have had this before, a Faber-Castell water brush. And disclaimer, I don't think I am very good with water brushes in general. <laughs> I just never get the right amount of water. Actually, a lot of times I get way too much water. This is a nice small size, nice and compact. It has a nice cap. When the cap's on, it's not going to roll away because of the shape there. And that's a nice size bristle. It needs a little bit of... It's got sizing on it. Um, how do I open this? Oh yeah, opposite. And it's pretty easy to fill like that. Um, but I think in the past, I think I gave away this brush. I don't even know if I kept it. I think I gave it to someone else because I was always just getting too much water. So I'm going to give it a go here and see. But I wasn't super excited about it, as you may be able to tell. Um, because I feel like I'm not very good at 
water brushing. Anyway, the Copic Multiliner is, of course, not going to move with water. Oh, see, look at that. I got a big drop, right? I just don't know how to squeeze lightly or something. Anyway, that's not going to move because it's permanent, but this is a watercolor pencil, and look at how nicely it just dissolves with the water. Um, it looks like it's pretty much able to all be dissolved. And let me just pull it down here and uh, see how well it moves on this paper. This is very nice paper, very nice watercolor sketchbook. Yeah, so that is the water brush. I will try to use it. Now, what do we have here? I love how nicely protected this is. Ooh, some nice and thin profile here. Look at that. And how do we open it? I wonder what this is. What's this? Just to help you open it? I don't know. But what does this say? It says, this custom palette features a wide range of colors and values allowing you to create the widest range of hues. Compact and easy to clean, this palette is perfect for the artist on the go. It's very sleek. Um, I have no idea about these paints. Does it say anything? No. There is no pigment information. My sticker's coming off a little bit there. Um, but yeah, I like it. My first impression, I like how sleek it is. And it does seem like it'll be easy to take along with and looks like the names are on here I guess shall we start with lime let's just start with lime and maybe I can wash my brush off in between well I've still got a bunch of color oh I forgot to uh, whoops dissolve my color on my palette here and so you can also use um, the watercolor brush this way also get a more a lighter color instantly and this surface of this palette is kind of rough for pencils and then this is super smooth I'm gonna set that aside then we have olive this is gonna take a while so I think I'll speed this little part up as I swatch the colors Okay, I just did a really fast and dirty swatch of these. There's a lot of nice colors. I really like this. They're very pigmented, it seems. Um, not sure how they're going to dry yet. I'm going to let them dry. So far, they don't seem too chalky because I was thinking, you know, opaque watercolors. Maybe they'll be chalky. I don't know. Um, and yeah, they're, the three yellows seem very similar right now though, so I don't know about that. Um, but our, we've got like a few different kinds of, in the blue-green family. Yeah, this is really interesting. I think this is going to be fun to bring along because it's nice and slim. I didn't even try the palette yet, but I will do that, um, this, this part for mixing. Looks like it beads up quite a bit. Um, I will try to do that when this is dry and maybe I'll flip over to the other side and do something. So I guess I'm going to pause here and check back in a little bit. I'm just going to let this air dry so I just have to turn it off and come back. All right I did uh, play around with a little bit of water there. I'm just going to see if these reactivate and I might not have a clean brush there. Let me just get this. Okay, that's cleaner-ish. And yeah, they're reactivating. Let me see what we can do there. And they do, and especially with this paper, yes, you can remove color. Had a lot of purple there. I'm gonna try to take some off. And Look at that. Wow, there's just a ton of pigment on there. I don't remember if there was anything else. I did try to put some white over the top. I'm going to see if I can layer more white over the top because it kind of disappeared. 
it's interesting because watercolors are the nature of them is that they are transparent usually um, so these are not and yeah you can actually I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there let me move this and get closer up layer on top of them once they're dry and there's a little bit of glare but you can kind of see that so I'm going to dry this real quick so that I can move on to the next one. Right, flip it over and I have, I guess I just went right in on this page. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of a, a pencil sketch there. And I will show you what I'm working from, my little picture. I wonder if this is going to show in the camera. Anyway, this is a picture I took in San Diego a few years ago, San Diego area. These cute little... Um, are they sea lions? Um, yeah, on top of something colorful. And I'm just gonna like not do the boats and just try to do the sea lions, water, and the um, whatever that thing is. I don't even know what that is, that metal floating thing. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Here are my final thoughts. So actually I was pleasantly surprised with pretty much all of the supplies. Um, I was not looking forward to either the water brush or the paints. I just wasn't sure if of the quality. I thought they might be chalky. I don't know. It looked like craft paint. However, I think, you know, they're not, they're not transparent like natural, normal watercolors, but they do have a really lovely payout of pigment and they didn't really dry chalky just maybe a hint but not really so um I have some other ones that you know were inexpensive travel set that are way worse so I really liked that I loved the sketchbook I love the size I am bringing that with me um, and maybe I've improved with my water brush skills. I don't know because the water brush wasn't even that bad. I mean, you can't really get detail and I'm totally into the details. Um, and it's, you can't get, uh, anything but kind of a wet look with this brush, but it was really good. Um, and so I really liked what I was able to do. And especially on this scale, it was a good size for that. Um, when I go and bring this with me, I probably will bring some kind of other brush as well that maybe I can get a little more detail. But when you don't have a source of like a water cup, you know, when you have to use a water brush, this one did very well. So um, I was really pleasantly surprised and I'm happy about that. Um, the only kind of downside, like here I am using the Copic, it didn't it didn't, it struggled a little bit going over the watercolors. Um, so I had to grab like a scrap paper and kind of clean off the nib a bit. So that was kind of annoying, but in, in future, I might not try to line over the watercolors with that marker. Um, it does great underneath. Um, so, and yeah, everything, I really like the watercolor pencil. I used it just a little bit, add some little details and a little more brown in the rust kind of marks. And, you know, um, so I had a little bit of trouble with the amount of water coming out, but that's a water brush thing. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.